This game pissed me off. I mean, this game just flat out pissed me off. I texted in my group chats, right? I was talking my trash, right? I was rooting for my team. I was supporting my squad, right? In my Tiger TV chat at Morales College, right? I'm the sports producer of Tiger TV. I told them, I was like, hey, the Sixers are up. One point at halftime, 51-50. We got a chance. Tobias Harris going off. James Harden had 14 points at halftime. And then come the second half, it was like a totally different team. I mean, look, what we're, what we're going to talk about, and you see the title of this episode, we're going to talk about James Harden. And when James Harden first got to Philly, I had my pom-poms out. I was happy. I was excited. I was ready for this new regime, this new dynamic duo of Joel Embiid and James Harden. And even with James Harden being this bad, for his standards, really just bad in general right now. Because even for his standards, this is this is beyond his standards. He's for, he's he's flat out bad right now. But even though this duo isn't panning out the way we envisioned, this is still ten times better than what we would have had with Ben Simmons, right? So I'm still grateful. Yet I want more. I'm still grateful. Yet, I know the potential, the championship aspirations that this Sixers team can reach. But it comes down to James Harden. I talked about how, well, Tobias Harris, he's the most important player for the Sixers. I was flat out wrong. Flat out wrong. The guy who's the most important player is James freaking Harden. And the problem is, James Harden wants to be passive. James Harden wants to be this pass-first guy. That he was in Brooklyn. Dude, didn't you leave Brooklyn to get more of a load scoring-wise? Didn't you leave Brooklyn to get more responsibility scoring the basketball like you had in Houston? So why the heck are you still being that passive guy that you were in Brooklyn? For all of that, James Harden, you might as well have stayed in New York and just gotten a chip or competed for a championship with Kyrie and KD, because we're going to be the same James Harden who's being passive, who's shooting less than Tyrese Maxey and Tobias Harris. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? With, jo with, with Joel Embiid being out, you should at least put up 25 shots, at the very least. And guess what? If you, if you, miss, if you miss 15 of them, so what? At least I know you're trying, bro. But to only shoot the ball 13 times... When the best player on the freaking team is out, I don't know what you're doing, bro. I don't. Know, I, I I really don't know what you're doing. Doc Rivers, did are, did you tell him to shoot the ball more? Did you tell him to be more aggressive and he was not listening? I don't get the game plan because guess what? If Tobias Harris is our best player, we will get swept. If Tyrese Maxey is shooting the ball more than James Harden and is scoring more than James Harden, we will get swept. If James Harden cannot get more than 20 points in a game without Joel Embiid, we will get swept. All of these things are true. And I still have the belief that if we play to our potential, we can make this a series. And especially if Joel Embiid comes back, go ahead and win. But James Harden, can we get one game? Can we get one virtual? Can we get one game where you put up 30, 10, and 8? That's all we need. Just, just one game. I'm not asking that for a seven-game series. I'm not asking that for to, to, to do it at, uh, six games out of seven games. Five. Out, I'm, I'm asking one, one game at, at, at least. Give, give, when Joel Embiid comes back, maybe for game three, can we tie it up 1-1? One, one? Can we not be at a 0-2 deficit when... Joel Embiid or 0-3 deficit when Joel Embiid comes back. I would like for us to at least be, at the very least, 2-1 to one if Joel Embiid comes back game four. If Joel Embiid comes back game three, can we be, you know, 1-1 one, one, tied up with, with this squad? I mean, we were right with them in the first half, right? And look, this Miami Heat team, they don't even have Kyle Lowry, right? So I don't want to hear the, oh, well, we're so overmatched. 
Who is better than James Harden? Who? I, 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 Jimmy Butler, uh, you can maybe say that. Uh, I'm probably at, at this stage right now how, how Harden is playing. Yeah. But these teams are still pretty evenly matched, even with Joel Embiid being out. Because they because because Kyle Lowry's out, right? So at the end of the day, this is this is this is James Harden's time to prove the doubters wrong. This is James Harden's time to write his own legacy, right? Because if he puts out a virtuoso performance, goes back to that Rockets James Harden in Game Two, and shows the world who he is. People can't people can't say nothing. You, 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 you can't call him a choker. You can't say anything about James Harden if he shows up here without Joel Embiid. But if you're putting up less shots than Tyrese Maxey, who's 20-something years old, Tobias Harris, that's been tossed around the league, who's been passed around the league, then I, I, you, 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 you simply cannot defend that. I, I, again, I was happy to have you in Philly, James Harden. But if you playing like this, I can't defend it. And I'm going to have to call you out. I mean, James Harden coming to Philly is like a girl you try to slide with in the DMs. You finally, get, you finally get that date. And guess what happens? She don't look too good. She a catfish. That's what James Harden is. He done bamboozled us, bro. Because we thought he was going to put up, at the very least, 25 points. And he has yet to do that in the playoffs, bro. Like, I can't even. Bro, we thought that he would average 25 points in the playoffs at the very least. And this fool hasn't even put up 25 points in the playoffs as of yet. And we're in the second round. We're in the second round. I mean, what's the problem? Is, is the hamstring? Let us know if you're injured, bro. So I can, so I can, so I can, so I can ease off a little bit. Because if you are 100% healthy, you should literally be ashamed of yourself. You should literally be ashamed of yourself. I, I can't even, I can't even like fathom how, like, how like inexcusable it is to put up 16 points when Joel Embiid, the best player on the, I, I, maybe all right, top three player, top three player on the planet, is out. Y'all, y'all's best player is out, and you put up 16 points, being so passive. I mean, do you want to be here? Do you want to be in Philly? You said that you want to be in Philly, right? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you go ahead and jump ship and go go ahead to Miami or something like that. Like, dude, were you partying? Were you partying in Miami? What was going on, bro? What was going on? Because I simply do not get why you are not being more aggressive during this game. I I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I I mean, look. I mean, look. Again, Tobias Harris. I talk about Tobias Harris. I get on him a lot. But he, he had 27 points, 11 of 18 shooting. He showed up to play. Tyrese Maxey, he wasn't efficient. But, heck, he going to shoot the ball, bro. He might not be efficient all the time, but he not afraid to take those big shots in those big moments. James Harden, only 13 shots. Again, this is pitiful. Five turnovers, pitiful, bro. I mean, again, it's like you have to shoot the ball because who else we got? Aside, aside from Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey, who the heck do the Sixers have that can put up that, that can put up ten points? To who? Danny Green? Don't, don't don't let me don't 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 start. I don't, don't let me start on DeAndre Jordan. I mean, he literally did. He literally hurt the team. He hurt the team when he was on the floor. I mean, the team did better when he was off the floor. I mean, like look. I, I, the DeAndre Jordan should not be in the NBA anymore. Uh, like, he, like he literally is just like a washed up player that does nothing good for the teams that he's on, bro. Like, what good does DeAndre Jordan do? Doc Rivers talking about some. Oh, you know, we're gonna still play DeAndre Jordan for what? You might as well put Tobias Harris at the five, bro. I mean, Bam isn't like humongous, bro. I mean, he's six nine. What Tobias Harris maybe like six seven, six eight, bro. Tobias Harris, get big, bro, and get and get big with Bam, bro, because DeAndre Jordan is not it, bro. He, he needs to hang it up. DeAndre Jordan needs to hang it up because it's coming to this point where it's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good, bro. You might as well just hang it up, bro. Hang it up. Hang it up. So at the end of the day, 
if the Sixers play like this again, they will get swept. If James Harden plays like this again, we will get swept. The key to beating the Heat without Joel Embiid is for Tobias Harris to go off to at least put up 25 points, but for James Harden to put up 30 points, for Tyrese Maxey to put up at least 15 to 20 points, right? That big three, because that's what it is right now without Joel Embiid, has to show up. And the only one out of the big three that showed up last night was Tobias Harris. James Harden, if you want to define your legacy, if you want to prove the doubters wrong, show up, bro. If you injured, I'll back off. But if you injured, don't play. You you playing right now, I don't want to hear no excuses. You've got to produce. Pe- people in Philly are happy that you got here, but we want some results now. We want to at least get past the second round after we got bounced out the second round last year with Ben Simmons. We, we want to see some improvement. We're not asking for the championship. I'm not asking for that as of yet, but can we get a conference final? Can we at least have Embiid and Giannis see each other in the playoffs? I, I, I would love to see that. I would love to see that, but hey, man, say, man, this is Real Talk of Miles Johnson, where y'all know I always keep it real. Y'all see, I got, see, my, I had a ball to y'all. Ended up cutting it. I ended up having to get it cut down. I joined Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, the best fraternity that there is ever, 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 ever. My hair coming back. Give me two weeks. I'm going to be that wavy, wavy, wavy bull. The semester's ending, so I'm going to have way more content, way more daily uploads for you all. With that being said, y'all, I'm out.